How do you visit a UNESCO World Heritage Site that's not open to the public? The National Heritage Center in the South Korean city of Daejeon may have the answer. It uses AI and augmented reality to transport visitors to na natural wonders like Jeju's Yongcheon Dongul Cave. Shin Sebyeok takes us on a virtual tour. Colorful layers of white and yellow decorating the wall. Soda straws stretching from floor to ceiling. Water droplets echoing through the tunnel. You are looking at the secretive inside of Yongcheon Dongul Cave in Jeju, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that's not open to the public. Though access to the actual Yongcheon Dongul Cave may be limited, it's been brought to life with the help of AR and 3D technologies, meaning visitors can interact directly. The Natural Heritage Center in the city of Daejeon provides six pieces of immersive content. And one is the virtual tour through the lava tunnel. Ten projectors use 3D scanned data to bring the cave to life. It even features remains of animals, artifacts from the Shilla dynasty, and blind cavefish. It was great to see something that you can't see in real life. These were so realistic. Another room presents two of the country's nature reserves, Halasa Mountain and Songsan Ilchulbong Peak, with augmented 360-degree visualization. I only learned about those sites in books. This exhibition gives me the feeling as if I'm actually at those sites. A tap on a smartphone screen brings dinosaurs to life. Zooming in and out, moving left to right, augmented dinosaurs give visitors a better understanding of the ancient creatures. A smart screen over a mammoth remains shows what the beast would have looked like. It tracks your movement, so you can view it from different angles. The latest advances in technology can preserve natural heritage while teaching people about those sites. Cutting-edge technology like AR enable visitors to interact with natural heritage, though far away, while preserving natural heritage as it is. The center plans to feature all 11 nature reserves in South Korea with AR technology in the near future. It will also expand the exhibition to grant visitors more immersive heritage site experiences. Shin Sebyeok, Arirang News, Daejeon.